it's DJ B and I am very excited to announce a very cool up and coming video project that I've been working on for you guys. Some of you guys may have known about or seen this guy on my Instagram page. His name is Keon and he is a drastic fjord from the Briar Halflinger Mare. I was able to film the entire process of creating him. So over the next three weeks I will be releasing a three-part tutorial series on how I took the original model to this completed drastic fjord. It's not a tutorial based in the fact that I'm teaching you how to do it but I'm showing you how I got from stage one to the final product because it was a process and obviously I created some form of result. So a little bit about Keon. I actually grew up down the street from a fjord farm so I've been exposed to the fjord breed for a really long time and I've always was curious because typically the standard fjord has a roached mane which is where they, they cut it and it kind of stands on its on its own. They look like Trojan horses. They're always predominantly done like this color with the gradient hair and so because they're done they have a dorsal stripe that runs along their back and the dorsal stripe bleeds into the mane so the center of the mane is actually almost always black. There's white on the outsides where the done comes in contact with the mane. Now when I was scrolling through Instagram one day there was a photograph of a fjord with an overgrown mane and I've always wondered what this would look like if you were just to let the mane grow and basically it looks really really cool. You get a lot of black and white texture throughout the hair and I've always been really into black and white texture in the mane and tail so I knew I had to create a drastic custom. The moment I saw the photo I knew I had to make a custom of it and so I did. I set out to pick a model and start this customizing process. Now choosing a original inspirational image or reference photo is really beneficial. I don't think this guy would have turned out as good if I had just said I want to do an overgrown long mane fjord without any context. I think having an original photograph really helps and it really did help this body of work because it enhanced it a lot. So over the course of the next three weeks I'll be releasing three parts. The first part will be about deconstructing the models, taking the original plastic briar, dremeling, sanding, and heat repositioning it so that I can create the idea that I'm looking for. In the second part, I will be reconstructing the model, so gluing it all back together using wire reinforcements, baking soda, and super glue, as well as sculpting over original plastic to create the new one-of-a-kind piece. And in the final third part, I will be just covering the process of painting the final model. So it's not super in-depth. This isn't a how-to sculpt tutorial. This isn't a how to do things. This is just me showing you and running into problems along the way which I have kept in the videos so that you understand that it's not always an easy process and it doesn't always go smoothly. It takes a lot of trial and error and a lot of failed attempts to get a good final piece. I really hope you guys enjoy this as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. Look out for next Wednesday where I will be releasing the first part to the tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to you guys following me on this incredible journey. Mm -hmm.